Hey guys, uh, today I want to go ahead and show you this uh, CRKT Terea, which is actually designed by uh, Steve Jernigan. And Terea actually is an evergreen tree that's in the uh, conifer family. Now Terea, Terea is also a state park in Florida, not sure which this knife is named after, maybe both. But yeah, conifer and a state park, Terea. This is a manual action liner lock. Some pretty good action, actually. Very smooth. Now, it probably would drop shut if the blade was a little heavier. There you go. But it's kind of light, so it doesn't. Even though the blade is riding on the uh, IKBS bearing system, which it's understandable of you know how smooth and awesome the action is because of that bearing system. Uh, as you can see, this thing actually flies out. Look at that. I mean, very little. Really, it's more thumb than anything for the deployment. Look at that. Very smooth. Now the thumb stud, I actually had to move it over from the right side to the left, or from the left side to the right, excuse me, with a uh, number six Torx, not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Oh, and you can also, you can adjust the pivot here, uh, both sides, which is always good to see with a number eight uh, Torx. It's a satin finish blade that is a flat ground uh, drop point. The blade material, 7CR17MOV. I, 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 I don't know why in the heck they went with that blade steel, but it's on here, 7CR17MOV. Yeah, not, not exciting. And you'll be even less enthused once you hear the price of this, which I will get to here shortly. Um, I wanna go ahead and run down the specs for you. Now, first, you notice this sheath that's sitting here. That is because this knife is manufactured clipless. And what you do is you use this crappy looking nylon sheath. Junk. Get that crap out of here. Uh, what I went ahead and did, I just uh, added an aftermarket clip. I don't know, came out pretty good. So if you look at the flip side, the two uh, body screws for the scales, I just went ahead and used that existing pre-drilled hole. And then I had to uh, drill another, a very small hole uh, myself. The specs. This is a three and a half inch long blade with a cutting length of about 3.4 inches. The blade is about 0 0.10 inches thick or 2.67 millimeters. Now the width at the widest point is 0 0.962 inches. The handle is a little over half an inch at uh, 0.59. Speaking of that handle, that I measured comes to uh, 4.9 inches. And has a closed width at the widest point, again, of 1.2 inches, which gives us an overall length of 8.37 inches. So a uh, good size knife, really good size knife.
Uh, but it is slim. It does carry slim in the pocket. But blade steel, goodness. So needless to say, this knife does not see too much action. Um, I, yeah, I just don't trust the 7CR17 MOV. The handle scales, uh, like brown micarta with the stainless steel bolsters, which makes it, I mean, it's a really good looking knife. I think, which is actually why I purchased it. Um, I really didn't, at the time, I didn't, wasn't really as worried about blade steel as much as I am now, but now this does have just the regular standard liners in there for the liner lock. Uh, the construction on the spine closed completely. The weight, let's talk about the weight. Uh, let me go ahead and get my scale out here. Make sure you guys can see that. One second, one second. Good, zero it out. Let's see, this baby weighs in at 5.3, 5.4 5 ounces, 5.3, 5.4. 5.4 ounces, which is the roughly the same as one, two, three, four, five, six double A batteries. Now there is absolutely zero jimping on this knife, as you might have noticed. However, the centering is really, really good. Really good. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, there is a little stop pin there. You guys can see that external stop pin. Now when the blade is deployed, locks up and, let's see, geez. That's, that's darn near 75%. That's a little far. But you know what, I don't really carry this knife very often, so eh, you know, whatever. Uh, there is a good size lanyard hold to accommodate some uh, paracord. And the price, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. So 50 bucks for 7CR17 MOV. I, I, you know what, I just, I, I can't recommend this knife. I can't. With, you know, it, inferior materials, specifically that blade steel. I mean, this is probably the only 7CR17 MOV knife that uh, I actually own. And if this knife wasn't so damn attractive, it would not, it would not be in my collection. So let's talk about some of the things they do and don't like. Uh, as we sum this up, sheath stinks, terrible. Blade steel, not the best. I mean, and and 50 bucks I don't I know that that's not an insane amount of money but for this I, that's way too much 30 bucks 25 30 dollars absolutely but 50 dollars yeah that's that's a little steep but you are getting a very nice classic kind of styling blade. I just love, and the action. Oh my goodness, the action is just incredible. Incredible. I can, oh man. God, it's just, if that blade steel wasn't so crappy, 
And even with that pocket clip attached, yeah, I still don't really, uh, this does not seem much, uh, doesn't seem much pocket time. But I would like to, uh, well, remind you guys first, go ahead and uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, and while you're at it, you might as well just subscribe. You know, why not? Why not? So, thanks again, you guys, for uh, stopping by. I will see you at the next video. Take care.